first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me to <coughs> this nice workshop. I think this is the second time to come to Gyeongju. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> so, uh, so this is uh, a part of this talk is joint work with Taraspan, uh, Roman Krutovsky and Taraspanov. So, I would like to explain first uh, what I want to explain so, briefly. So, these are main main characters of this talk. So, one is a complex manifold with maximal transaction. I will I will explain the definition of maximal action later. And yes, the other one is is canonical foliation. I also exp uh, explain the, the definition of canonical foliation later. So, so what I want to tell you is is the following. So the so my foliated manifold behaves similar to a toric variety, no, no, non singular complete toric variety. So this is very quick overview. <coughs> so let me let me explain the definition of maximal action of compact torus. So I begin with the with an observation. So we consider a connected smooth manifold equipped with a, an action, effective action of compact torus. So and take a point in M and we consider the tangent representation of the isotopic subgroup. So tangent space is a representation space of isotopic subgroup. And this representation space decomposes into the subspace tangent to orbit and and uh, it's normal. <coughs> because since G uh, since G is a very this part is a trivial representation of isotopic subgroup. So, and that so this representation is faithful, so the, this part should be faithful. So this means uh, isotopy, so the representation is nothing but the homomorphism from homomorphism to to general linear group. So, so so since this is faithful representation, we have uh, injection, injective map, injective homomorphism from g x g sub x to to the g l of this this vector space. So let's consider the dimension of of maximal compact torus <coughs> in the source and the target. Then we have a following inequality. So the dimension of isotopic subgroup should be less than or equal to the half of of the normal band of the dimension of normal band. <coughs> so this inequality can be simplified to for following. So dimension of torus plus dimension of, of isotopic subgroup is less than or equal to the, or the to the manifold. So, for example, if if G if if manifold has a fixed point, then the dimension of torus should be less than or equal to the half of invention of manifold. So now we define the the maximal action. <coughs> so let us consider. As before, we consider manifold, connected manifold equipped with an effective, effective torus action. So the action is maximal, we say the action is maximal if there exists a point, the equality falls. <coughs> so 
So the, the reason why I call, <coughs> I say this, uh, I say this action is maximal is the following. So if the action is maximal in this sense, we think of the, ah, uh, so, sorry. Uh, so whenever G acts on M effectively, we, we think of G as a, as a, as a sub, as compact of subtorus in, in the group of diffeomorphisms. <coughs> so if the action is maximal, then the compact torus regarded as a subgroup of diff M is a, is a maximal, maximal compact torus in. In fairness, a variety is diffeomorphisms of M, an algebraic group. No, no, it is infinite dimensional, infinite dimensional group. So, so, so you mean, uh, but if, if, if we restrict, if we, if we restrict automorphism, then, and if M, um, no, 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 so if M is a complex manifold and if we consider uh, uh, automorphism, then it is a complex rig. <coughs> uh, automorphism in the complex is a bi biphoromorphic map. Biphoromorphism. <coughs> yeah. Otherwise, it is good. Yeah. So, so this is uh, maximal action of compact torus. So now. <coughs> Let me, def let me explain the definition of, uh, let me explain the notion of canonical variations. So we consider a compact connected complex manifold. And so, so this is, this is the group of all, all biholomorphic maps. <coughs> so auto M is group of all biholomorphic maps. And this is a complex rigor, so we, we can take a maximal compact torus. So then, <coughs> it's realgebra can be, can be, think, can be, uh, can, think, um, can be regarded as a subspace of, of vector space, vec <coughs> of, of, uh, of the space of vector fields which preserves the complex structure. So we, see, we consider the intersection of G with uh, J of G. So J is a complex structure of, of the manifold. So H prime is intersection. And this is a subgroup. Uh, so this is a subalgebra of G. And we denote by capital H prime the corresponding Lie, Lie group. <coughs> so this Lie group has the following uh, condition, <coughs> following properties. So first, H prime has a, has, a, has a natural complex structure coming from the, from the complex structure of M. And and the, the action of G restricted to H prime is holomorphic and local free. So, so, the, so, the, so being local free is not, not so trivial. <coughs> is H prime not necessarily a subgroup of G? H prime is a subgroup, but, but it not need to be closed. So it can be a de dense subgroup of compact torus. Okay. Uh, <coughs> sorry, the M, M is a toric manifold and J is a compact torus. Uh -huh. And the toric, toric manifold, and what is it trying? In, in, I will explain later, but it, uh, uh, in case of toric, toric, toric manifold, H prime is trivial. And, and uh, this is an uh, important property. So H prime, so a priori, 
H, the H prime depends on the choice of compact torus, but actually H prime doesn't depend on the choice of, of compact or maximal compact torus. <coughs> so this means H prime is determined by the complex structure only. No, 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 no. H prime as a as a subgroup of automorphism. So the de definition. <coughs> so <coughs> so since H prime act m acts on m holomorphic and local freely, we have a holomorphic foliation. So we call the, the form, canonical foliation is a foliation whose leaves are H prime orbits. Okay. <coughs> so let me show you, let me show you three examples. So the first two are trivial ones, trivial ones. But uh, compact torus. So we consider a uh, quotient of CN by a lattice. A lattice is a compact subgroup of, a discrete co-compact subgroup of CN. So M is comp compact torus, complex torus, and G is also a compact, com complex torus. So, so G, is, uh, uh, G is isomorphic to two n dimensional torus as a real degree group. So for all point in M, uh, because, uh, so dimension of compact torus, this is 2N, and dimension of isotopic subgroup, uh, this is, the isotopic subgroup is trivial because the, to, the action of, of G on M is free. So this, so this is zero, and the manifold, the dimension of manifold is 2N in this case. So equality holds. So this action is maximal. So what is H prime? <coughs> so H prime is by definition gay cap intersection of gay with J of gay. And this is actually gay because any fundamental vector fields on M is J of another fundamental vector field, right? <coughs> so, the foliation consists of, consists of only one leaf, it is a whole manifold. So leaf space is a point, the leaf space is, the quotient space is a point, and so this can be regarded as a zero-dimensional toric variety. So <coughs> the next, the second example is toric variety. So we consider a non-singular complete toric variety of complex dimension n. So let G be the compact torus, maximal compact torus of, of the al algebraic torus acting on the toric variety. So, so as is known, there is a fixed point. As a fixed point, dimension of compact tor G plus dimension of isotopic subgroup as is the dimension of manifold. <coughs> so in this case, H prime is is towards zero because. Uh, Because suppose we have a periodic vector field and applying J, it, is, it cannot be almost periodic. So, H prime is trivial. So, namely, every, every leaf of canonical foliation is a point. So, the leaf space is nothing but the toric variety of, toric variety of, yeah. Okay. 
Maybe this is a non-trivial example. The, first, uh, the simplest non-trivial example. So let us, let, let's take two complex numbers who, whose absolute values are greater than one. So we consider a subgroup, subgroup of C cross two generated by alpha one, alpha two. So this group is isomorphic to, so infinite cyclic group. <coughs> so we consider standard, standard action of C cross two on, on C two minus zero given by coordinate-wise multiplication. <coughs> so the quotient, of, quotient of manifold, quotient of space of C2 minus zero by gamma is called a hop surface. So hop surface is a, is a complex manifold which is diffeomorphic to S3 times S1. So hop, hop, hop surface has, has an action of, of three-dimensional torus. So to see this, consider the action of, of this group on M. So this group has, is isomorphic to C cross two modulo gamma is isomorphic to three dimensional torus times R as as real 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 group. So Maximal compact torus in in this group is three dimensional torus. So let's consider. Let's take point X. Then we can see that the dimension of torus. Uh, we can see that the dimension of isotopy subgroup is one at this point. So. It turns out this action is maximal. And we can also see that the H prime is a two-dimensional subspace, a real two-dimensional subspace of gay. Of G, of gay. <coughs> and we can see that H prime is closed if and only, only if alpha and alpha two has have of this relation. So it turns out the leaf space is Hausdorff if and only if if and only if alpha one, one, alpha one and alpha two have, have this relation. In this case, leaf space is a toric bifold of complex dimension one. So this space can be can be non Hausdorff, but I I I, I but uh, I I will explain that this this space has similar property as toric variety. Okay. <coughs> so let me explain my previous work about complex manifold with with maximal torus actions. So we consider a category of comp compact connected complex manifold with maximal torus actions. So object is following triple. The object of C1 is, is a triple MGY, where G is a compact torus, M is a compact connected complex manifold. And <coughs> G acts on M maximal and the, this action preserves the complex structure on M. So why is the base point? So 
for some technical reason, I should take take base point. So base point. So why the base point is with the uh, with trivial isotopy subgroup? <coughs> so this is the object, and now we we consider morphism. So suppose we have we have two objects in C1. So the pair of F and alpha is a morphism between this one and this one if so alpha is a smooth homomorphism between torus and F is an uh, equivalent holomorphic map. Alpha alpha equivalent holomorphic map. <coughs> and F F of base point is a base point. This is a morphism. Maybe this is a natural, nat natural definition. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so this is a category of compact connected complex manifold with maximum torus action. So as a, co as a combinatorial counterpart, we consider the following category. So the category C2. Object of C2 is a Following triple. So G is a compact torus as before. And delta is a non singular fan in, in the real algebra of G. Real algebra of G. And uh, G, has a, G, has, G is a vector space, but it has a canonical lattice. lattice. So uh, G has a lattice kernel of exponent, exponential map. And high is a vector subspace in the complex complexified gay satisfying the following <coughs> for the projection P So P is a projection the complexified gay is is decomposed into these vector spaces and P is a fast projection. And this is, can be regarded as as <coughs> gay. <coughs> So P is, a, P, is a, P is a first projection. And the, the first condition is restriction of, of P to H is injective. And the second condition is the following. <coughs> so let, let H prime be the image of of H by P. <coughs> and we consider the quotient map Q and Q sends a, a non singular fan in a fan in gay to a complete fan in the target, target vector space. <coughs> so so thi this is definition of object and the, the Morphism is so morphism is a is a smooth homomorphism between between compact torus tori and <coughs> satisfying the following so differential of alpha this, so this is a linear map from the algebra so this induces a morphism of funds between delta one and delta two. <coughs> And uh, let's consider the compre complexified d alpha. So this is a com com uh, C linear C linear map between g1 c2 g2 c. And, and uh, so we claim uh, we we so we require the image of h1 by 
this complex C linear map is a subspace of R2. <coughs> okay. So this is, so maybe this category is a bit complicated, but. <coughs> Uh, okay. What is the law of this H? Uh, well, we have this H prime and this prime before, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it comes out somewhat. Uh, okay, I will explain soon. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, you, ha you, you require two conditions, uh, you said satisfying all the yeah. you know, projection. Can you explain the, the, some geometry for me? Why do you require that? Come, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mm. So first condition is corresponds to so first first means so this so this is injective uh, corresponds to the The action of compact torus is effective, actually. And the second one, <coughs> so Q of delta is complete fun. <coughs> so because G is compact, the quotient space is, is Hausdorff space. And this action is maximal. <coughs> Actually, <coughs> so these conditions correspond to these, <coughs> these conditions. <coughs> but uh, let me explain the correspondence between C1 and C2 here. So for, for complex manifold with maxima torus action, we can get a non-singular fan, fan delta by the same, same argument as, as toric geometry. So we, so namely, we, we can, we consider some co-dimension co one sub-manifold which is preserved, which is fixed by a one-dimensional sub-torus and then, so it is, so it, it rolls uh, uh, like a, like a toric divisor. <coughs> so, <coughs> so using the same argument, we can we can get non singular fan. And what 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 is a half prime? A uh, high is a is a subspace. So so since G acts on M as as holomorphic maps. So we, we can consider, we, we consider an action, so, so G, uh, the action of G extends to a holomorphic action of algebraic torus, G, C, O, M. So this action could be, could be, could be not effective. <coughs> so we consider global stabilizers of this action. So high is, uh, high is, uh, the algebra of this, this regroup. And we can see that the triple obtained by this way is an object in C2. So conversely, if we have an object in C2, we can construct a complex manifold with maximal torus actions. So X, X of delta is a, is a, Toric variety associated with non singular fan delta and uh, H, capital H is a uh, image of exponential map by her of her. 
So the quotient space is actually a compact connected complex manifold. The action of compact torus on toric variety descends to a maximal action of, of the quotient manifold. So we can obtain the, obtain <coughs> a com com compact connected complex manifold with maximal torus action. Just repeat again. For which variety is the fan that you get? Is that for the original variety? Sorry, sorry, could you just... We, we get a non-singular fan. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that fan defining M? That, that, that this fan is defined by... Mm, sorry, sorry. Oh, so, sorry, you mean... For MGY, uh -huh. get a non-singular fan. Yeah, yeah. That defines a toric variety. Yeah, is that defined the yeah. toric variety? What is the relationship between the toric variety and M? Yeah, actually... Is, that, is M some toric degeneration? No, no, no it is a uh, total space of a principal bundle, actually. So, we can find a projection from toric variety to, comp to M, our M, with five bytes. Whose structure group is H? So, can I? Uh, th this is a naive question. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but can I use that to? S M itself is a variety, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I use that to get information about this Newton Okunko body stuff in M? Can I use this information? Uh, yeah, Newton Okunko body is <laughs> is considered only for Projective varieties, I think. I but in general, M is not Kara. So it is not projective variety. So <coughs> we cannot define Newton Coco way for M in general. Yeah, but you, you are assigning some component. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've extracted from M. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So from M, you get this. X delta uh -huh. quotient by H, so that is bihomomorphic over to M or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. so th that is bihomomorphic, actually. So, actually, so the, ma the so my, my previous result was, is uh, actually the category of complex manifold with maximum torus action. And the category of, of category C2 are equivalent. So it, it means M, M, <coughs> so it means, so M is iso, uh, bihomorphic to the quotient of, of toric power. And that's a free, free action. Yeah, free action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, it's just one. Yeah. Yes, so, but I want to consider transverse geometry of M. So, let me introduce uh, uh, transverse equivalence. <coughs> so, let us consider foliated manifold, two, two manifolds, M1, F1, and M2, F2. So, M1, M, M1 and F2 are smooth manifold and F1 and F2 are smooth foliations. So we say these foliated manifolds are transverse equivalent. If there exists a another, third, another foliated manifold and, uh, and maps... Of the same dimension, M0 is the same dimension as M1 and M2. M, M, M1 and M2. The, the dimension of M1 and M2 are dif different in general. Yeah, the dimension of M0 can exceed. Can be still all different. Yeah, yeah, it can be, can be different. Yeah, so M0 is another foliated manifold. <coughs> and uh, there exists a map from F1, from M0 to, to them. Such, such that Fy is a subjective submersion and each fiber of, each fiber of Fy 
is connected for all, for, for all point and play image of so play image of of leaf in MI leaf of oh sorry play image of F Y sorry F Y play image of each leaf of F Y by by small F Y is the map F Y is a is a leaf of F zero sorry this is my mistake. <coughs> so this is a this is a refi refinement of of the mm, how I say. So if uh, if M one F one M one F one M two F two are transverse equivalent, then the then the leaf spaces are homeomorphic through the through F1 and F2. Just give some examples of M that you have in mind. Uh, okay, so for example, so the, 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 Right. So, that, uh, the simplest example, but this is not, <laughs> maybe this is a trivial example. So, if we consider uh, uh, mm, so, <coughs> so fi fiber bundle over manifold. Okay, so uh, with with, uh, with fibers are uh, connected, then this is uh, gives a foliation on, on the total space. What about a flag variety? Hmm. Oops, I'm sorry. I if, I if I take, can I take M? Mm -hmm. These are naive questions. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Can, can I take M to be a flag variety? Which M? Which M? Yeah, Listen. yeah. In which hmm? case, for example, X, what is X? What is the fan in that case? What is if M is a flag variety? Mm -hmm. What is X delta? Yeah, the action of of compact torus on flag variety is not maximal in 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 my sense. Mm -hmm. and the <coughs> sum of those will be M0 mm -hmm. and the one vector bundle will be M0 yeah, 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 exactly, exactly That's a very simple example Yeah, 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 yeah. Of this. You take the thickness sum of two vector bundles Yeah, yeah, yeah And the written sum will be M0 Oh, oh and I'm just acting on one M1 is one bundle Yes, and I see, okay yeah, yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Very easy, very yeah. so trivial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you could take a, 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 a non compact variety, like a moment uh, angle variety, non compact, mm -hmm. and act on it by less than a maximum, maximum dimensional torus. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. So. So na natural problem is, so suppose we have uh, complex manifold. Suppose we have two complex manifold with maximum ma ma torus actions, and consider canonical foliation on them. So when these uh, uh, foliated manifolds transversely equivalent, <coughs> I don't know the answer, but I have a I have a uh, 
sufficient condition. So to set this, uh, let me introduce another equivalence relation. So suppose we have two complex manifolds with maximal transactions, and we say they are principal equivalent if there exists another another one and morphisms. And this is an alpha I equivalent holomorphic map such that uh, the map. Maybe I. So F one and F two are actually principal kernel alpha I bundle. And kernel alpha is connected, so this means kernel alpha is, is a subtorus of, of G0. <coughs> so okay, so here we have a proposition. So if these manifolds are principal equivalent in this sense, then actually the affiliated manifolds are transversely equivalent. So, because we have a uh, equivalence of categories between C1 and C2, so the, the principal equivalent is, is much, much easier than transversely equivalent. So, uh, let me explain Markdown briefly. So, Markdown is, is, uh, is uh, very roughly speaking, Markdown is a fan with with some information. So, V tilde is a finite dimensional vector space. And gamma, gamma tilde is a finitely generated subgroup of this vector space, spans, spans V linearly. So this is a generalization of lattice. <coughs> so delta tilde is a fan in, in the vector space, and each one cone is generated by, by each, each one-dimensional cone is generated by element in, in, the, in the generalization of lattice. So lambda tilde is a function. Uh, so, so for each one-dimensional cone, lambda tilde is a, is a generator of one-dimensional cone. So we use the same, same terminologies as, as fans. So we say this Markdown fine is simplicial if the fine is simplicial, and this Markdown fine is complete if the Markdown if the fine is complete. So we consider the class of all complete simplicial Markdown fines. So to each, uh, I'm sorry for <laughs> extension, and to, for, to each complex manifold with maximum transaction, we can assign Markdown fine. A, a complete simplicial Markdown fan as follows. So we have, we already have, we have, we already have a fan and vector space and so an object in C2. So V tilde, so we have a quotient map from We have a quotient map from G to G over half prime. So this is an image of G, so namely, so the ta target, target, V tilde is a target space, and, and gamma tilde is a image of Q, image of, image, image of lattice by Q, and delta tilde is an image of, of, of the non-singular fan. And uh, we can we can we can determine the uh, the generators of one one dimensional cones. <coughs> so we have a uh, assignment from C one to to the to C two tilde. 
So we 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 so to to mark the funds are isomorphic if every side everything coincides with the linear isomorphism. So maybe I can I skip the hope surface. <laughs> so we we are, we are yeah so we we can we can compute explicitly for 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 any for any object in situ. <coughs> so the the main main theorem is 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 the following. So if suppose G is a principal equivalent. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Suppose we uh, suppose suppose we have two objects in C one. So C, so G is a principal equivalent if and only if the corresponding marked funds are isomorphic. So moreover, so this assignment is essentially sub subjective. So namely, for any complete non-singular marked fan, uh, no, sorry, non-singular, so complete simplicial marked fan, we can find um, object in C1 such that the corresponding marked fan is isomorphic to given one. So, so in summary, <coughs> So this is a summary. So principal equivalence is equivalent to the Mactopan isomorphism, and principal equivalence in induces principal equivalence in implies trans transverse equivalence. So so there's a, a, there's, there are several applications. So the leaf space is a toric orbifold. So, the, 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 so this is, is equivalent to the leaf space is Hausdorff. So the leaf space is a toric overhold if and only if the generalization of lattice gamma childa is actually a lattice. <coughs> so the so another application is actually this is shown. Uh, Two years ago, by myself. Uh, so M is transversely scalar with respect to the foliation if and only if the corresponding uh, fan, complete fan, is polytopal. And, and in a joint work with Roman Kurtovsky and Taraspanov, I we show the following: the basic cohomology of of this foliated manifold is isomorphic to the to to the following ring, so the quotient of polynomial ring by ideal i and j, so i is a standardized ideal for the underlying simplicial complex of of this complete fan, and j is a linear ideal determined determined by the by the assignment of generators. So it has the same formula as toric bar, toric manifolds. I'm sorry for, <laughs> for extension of my time, my time, so I stop here.